So we're gonna meet the biggest first. This is okay. Willie. He is our male elephant, a bull elephant. You'll see him target in the crossing space right there. Now, if you did pass through this, you might have thought about how large this space was as we walked through it. Now check out Willie in that space. It's perfectly Willie sized. Willie weighs about uh, over 14,000 pounds and stands 11 feet tall at the shoulder. He's the largest animal we've ever had here at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo. But as you might have noticed, He's pretty light on his feet, doesn't make a whole lot of noise when he walks. Elephants have specialized feet. What do you see? That are adapted for uh, the long treks they make. And so they keep their legs nice and healthy. They've got large pads of fat underneath the bones in their feet. They act like shock absorbers. So it protects their legs, but it also helps them walk a little quieter too. Just an added byproduct of that special adaptation. What do you... Hey, Anthony. Our next elephant is Callie. She is the tallest female, so it's a good comparison between Callie and Willie. She's about nine feet tall at the shoulder and weighs about 9,500 pounds. So Willie's got a couple feet and a few thousand pounds on Callie. Callie has some pretty long tusks, and she also has very high, prominent shoulder blades. That's what I look for when I'm looking for Callie. It's those shoulders. <gasps> Look That's at the elephant! Apart from the rest. What's her name? And next is going to be Shanga. Now compared Shanga. to Kali, Shanga has some pretty tough, short tusks. And she's got a very bumpy forehead. But Shanga's most distinct characteristic is in the back. So as she passes through the crossing space, take a look at her tail. It's got a curve in it. it makes it look a little bit like a question mark. Following behind Shanga is going to be Martika. Now Martika also has some relatively short tusks, but a smooth forehead. Martika's special characteristic are actually on the edges of her ears. She's got some distinct semicircle notches, two on one ear, one on the other. They happen naturally throughout because I took his hat because he keeps sure. from there we go naturally throughout her lifetime but they are distinct and unique to her no other elephant in our herd has match yeah, patterns like that and in the wild researchers will map these match patterns on individuals from much larger herds and that's the, a good way they can tell one individual from another so when we only have five elephants in our herd it's pretty easy to pick out Martika is going to be Moshi. Moshi is the smallest of all of our elephants. She's got some long, uneven tusks. And she's got a pretty short tail, very little hair on it. One of her tusks is flatter than the other. Moshi broke the end of her tusk off a couple years ago. It's pretty normal for elephants to break or chip the ends of their tusks. See, now, they cross. The tooth, it, it does behave a little more like a fingernail. So if they break or chip the ends, we can file them down. So with the help of our keepers, with the participation of Mochi, they were able to file it nice and flat so it wouldn't continue to crack. And it'll just continue to grow out as normal. And it won't be so flat in a couple years. Um, and it'll come more to a...